Houston Speedway Jackson Motorplex Billion Automotive High Performance Lubricants number two. David Gravel, a little bit faster than shots at 16.845. He is now fourth quick. Gravel second in the world of Outlaws point standings with 10 wins this season. 16.7. Green is out. Macri and Mark side by side in turn number one. Macri. Third, Sheldon Hobbsham. Kyle Larson leads out of turn four down the front straightaway. Logan Shuar just behind him. Shuar ducks to the end. Just not the champ's night and really just not the champ's speedway. And just when you thought David Gravel may be able to gain a lot of ground on Brad Sweet in the World of Outlaws, NOS Energy. What are you running? What are you running to do? I put it back in gear and it died again. I don't know what to do. Drop the MSD box out of the yeah. Try and push her off. You need to push her off. There's fuel coming out of the nozzle. And they are looking under the hood of the. Uh, Big Game Motorsports number two. Hey guys, day one of the National Open is over. Uh, man, it was a night we had a lot of opportunity to uh, gain some points on Brad, but it wasn't in our cards. We were able to qualify, let's see, fifth in our group. That put us starting uh, third in heat number three because it was split qualifying. And uh, I was able to start third, run third. That put us starting 10th in the A main. We were running about 10th most of the race. Was able to get a good restart and uh, get up to 8th. Was hovering on 8th or 9th and with like 6 to go, we stripped the power steering pump. So the camshaft drives the power steering pump and the fuel pump. They're all in line, bolted together. And there's like a little like, I wouldn't say keyway, but we call it uh, uh, like a little drive shaft, I guess you could say. But that stripped and rounded completely off. And once that happens, you lose all power steering and all fuel pressure. So the motor won't run with any fuel. So that ended our night, guys. Uh, a night when there's four provisionals and 29 race cars. So we ended up running 25th, uh, which is a big bummer. So tonight is the National Open. We'll talk to you guys when the night starts. And, um, yeah, see if we do better, guys. Hopefully we get to the end. Hopefully we qualify a couple spots better getting that dash. So I'll do another another vlog here shortly, guys. But we're putting last night behind us and uh, moving on. Talk to you then, guys. Thanks.
All right, day two, National Open, $75,000 on the line, guys. We cannot buy a good pill draw this weekend. We drew 67 out of 75. We're in the last hot lap group, uh, like fifth from last. So obviously not ideal, but uh, the track's been fairly even for qualifying. So hopefully it is again tonight, and we'll see. Uh, you typically, we qualify pretty good. Hopefully keep that trend going. Hopefully hot lap well, feel good about the race car, and then throw down a couple good laps here for qualifying. Williams Grove is always tough. A lot of money on the line tonight, guys, so everybody's going to have their elbows up, and we got to be super focused tonight. So we'll see what happens, guys. This track's been great to me, and uh, I feel like I'm due for a good run here. So uh, we'll talk to you guys after the night's over, and hopefully it's a good one. Thanks. And from Watertown, Connecticut, the use of Speedway, Jackson Motorplex, Billion Automotive, High Performance, Lugans, JRC Transportation, number two of David Gravel. Rico Abreu in the 24, David Gravel in car number two. Gravel finished 25th last night after problems late in the feature. Rico Abreu sixth in the micro light last chance showdown. Lap one for Rico Abreu is 10th quick at a 17, 275, 17, 275. Lap one for David Gravel, third quick at a 17, 041, 17041, third quick on lap number one for David Gravel. Second lap time for Rico Abreu is a 17.402. He'll stand with the first lap of 17.275. David Gravel, second lap time, 17.358. First lap quicker and third fastest so far at 17.041 seconds. And the green is out. Deweese and Gravel side by side into turn number one. Gravel around the outside and to the lead with Deweese in second place. <laughs> Conditions now. Good start by David Gravel. Pulls away from Lance DeWeese. Macri goes to the cushion in one and two. Looking happen. Anthony Macri will be in the dash with his second place finish. David Gravel, your winner. DeWeese is third. Craig Kinzer fourth. And Darren Pittman in the final transfer spot. So the winning qualifying heat number three goes to the driver from Watertown, Connecticut, the Houston Speedway Jackson Motorplex. The number two, David Gravel. And next to draw, here comes David Gravel. Reaches right in. He always mixes up the pills quite a bit. And reveals the number three. Again, he says, I'll take it. Inside of row number two. Now, David, you already have two National Open titles on your record, but they were with two different teams. What would a, a third title this time with Big Game Motorsports prove for you? Uh, I know that'd be really cool. Uh, this this place has been a really good track for me. I mean, every time we come here, the, the stands are packed and uh, can't do without them. So it's awesome. This race pays 25,000 more than it uh, used to. So uh, hopefully we win the richest uh, national open to date. It'd be cool to see. Good luck, David. Dirt Vision Fast Pass Dash is underway. Down the front stretch, Brent Marks to the lead, Logan Shuart to the inside of Sheldon Hutton, she'll looking for second. And getting a little closer to the number two of David Gravel, who currently rides in the fourth position. See what we got. Go time at Williams Grove Speedway. Out of turn four and down the front straight away. Brent Fox. <laughs> Contact! 
it's after Williams Grove. Have a nice healthy sheets meal. Didn't eat it all weekend, so I gotta have it before we get out of here. We got Gallagher's chocolate milk. Lots of vitamin D. Gotta stay high on that. Mmm, that's nice and creamy. That's good stuff. Um, Jill wants me to save her some, so I'll save her the last sip. But uh, I'm going with an 8.8. .8. Very good. This might be the highest rated. I can't believe I haven't been to a Rudders yet, but when we go to Port Royal next week, there's a Rudders right down the road, so I'll definitely get Rudders there. And I will not get the pumpkin milk because that was terrible. But I will get the regular one. But uh, that's a review. 8.8 .8 Gallagher's. Try it out. It's at all sheets. But I don't think it's been in Rudders. But we'll find out next week, guys. Thanks. That's a review. Alright, guys. So the weekend is over at the National Open. Uh, it was a way better night. Obviously, Saturday night, we were able to qualify third in our group. We were able to start second in the heat race. Win the heat. Drew a three in the dash. End up running third in the dash. Uh, on the start of the race, uh, we were able to lose a spot there to Sheldon, fall back to fourth. There was a caution. Was able to go from fourth to third on the restart. Um, and it kind of seemed like the inside was not the place to be on those starts. Uh, another caution came out. Uh, lost, lost third on the next restart. Um, kind of fell into fourth. Um, then fell back to fifth. Um, there was another caution and was able to gain a spot and uh, the caution came back out and then it was a single foul restart. Uh, we ran about fourth for most of the race. Uh, then Macri got by me in a late race restart after we uh, put a full fuel load into it. It seems like um, you know we have a pretty good race car with not a lot of fuel in it. But once we put the full fuel load at Williams Grove, the straightaways are so long and straight that uh, all that weight back there just gets the right front off the ground and it's really hard for me to set the car in the corner and we're just not right there yet. So it's a tricky place. You know, I feel like we have qualifying down pretty well, heat race dash down pretty well, but we just got to figure out the A main setup with, with the full field load. So uh, we'll continue to work on it, guys. Um, we sold quite a bit of breast cancer shirts. I think we're closing in at 500 pieces sold. So that's awesome. I appreciate you guys. There's some stuff we're sold out on and we're ordering this week so we can fulfill online orders. We should be stocked up for Port Royal. Uh, I ordered them this morning uh, and hopefully we'll have them again for Port Royal. r and is doing a good job fulfilling our stuff. So thank you guys. I think we found the family we're going to be donating to. It's a pretty, pretty unique story. So uh, once we get some more information, I can let you guys know. But I think we found the family in need. Hopefully we could give them over $5,000 between the sale of all the shirts and uh, my helmet and the gloves. So really looking forward to that and hopefully uh, put a smile on their faces. But other than that, guys, we got Port Royal this week coming up, a track that I would say I'm decent at, but I uh, haven't won a race there. So maybe this will be our weekend to win at Port Royal. Uh, we got great running engines, so I think we'll be able to qualify good there. We just got to put the whole night together. So... Um, the giveaway will be announced here very shortly, I think probably today or tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for all participating. You know, if you watch all these videos, tell your friends, make sure you subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Liking all the videos helps a lot, so please give these videos a thumbs up and put a comment in. Always give me feedback, no matter if it's good or bad. I want to know what you guys want to see moving forward, so... Thank you guys very much. Um, check out shopdgr.com to find out all my, our newest apparel and all the breast cancer stuff, guys. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll talk to you later.